Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a regular outlet versus a GFCI outlet. I'll be going over what's the difference between these two common types of outlets. So as a general rule of thumb, these are outlets that you see in the majority of places throughout your home. And then these are the outlets that you will see in locations that might get damp or wet, like a bathroom, a garage, uh, an outdoor space and stuff like that, okay? So this is a regular outlet and this is a GFCI or a GFI outlet. It's commonly referred to as both GFCI or GFI. Basically, it is a ground fault circuit interrupter, I believe is the term, something like that. But basically it is installed in locations that are generally damp or can get damp or a little bit wet like a bathroom. So let's look at them. First and foremost, you can see that they're the exact same size. They have the exact same plugs. These are both 15 amp outlets. So they, have the, they accept the same plugs as you can see. The main difference you see in the front other than the size, um, other than the size being the same, the main difference is that this one has a test and reset button and it also has a little light here that will illuminate when it's been connected properly. And this is just used to make sure that it's functioning properly because a GFCI, the main difference is that a GFCI, if it encounters something that, it's wet, that is wet or damp um, and it's installed properly, it should trip the actual outlet, meaning it should cut off the power to anything that's plugged into it, if it's installed correctly and if it's working properly. So you can test it to make sure that it's working properly, then you can reset it to get it functioning again. When you test it, it should shut off, and then when you reset it, it should turn back on, basically. You're just making sure that it will work when it needs to, okay? Now, if you look at the side, this is where you see a big difference, okay? In size, with regards to the terminals, basically the same thing, as you can see the terminals on this side right here, Let's put them on the same side so it kind of makes more sense. The terminals like this and the terminals like this, very, very similar, not much of a difference. You have the ground screw on the bottom here, whereas that's, it's on the bottom side on this, but really there's not really any sort of difference. But if you look at the size, there's a huge difference. This is, I would say, significantly larger, the GFCI outlet. And that's because it has the technology to deal with damp or wet locations. All of that technology takes up space. It's not nothing, it takes up space, and that's why you need a bigger overall device. So the GFCI is just a more robust type of outlet because it has more features that are built in. The other thing is if you look at the back over here, you can see that um, there's nothing, no significant markings on this one, right? Uh, just regular markings that you would find on any kind of outlet for the most part. Um, but on the GFCI, you can see there's a marking for a line and a load. It's hard to see that because it's I've had some tape over there before, but a line and a load. And the reason that you have that is because they mean two different things. The line is essentially the set of terminals that you use when you are connecting it to the power source. So the power from the panel goes here. Basically, this is the, the line power source. Power from the panel goes to the line side of it. And the load side is the side that carries the power to other outlets. So let's say I had power coming from the panel and it was going to the line side. And then I had a load, I had a load set of wires on the load side that went to this outlet over here. Any additional outlet out on the load side after the GFCI should be protected as well, as long as it's working properly and installed properly. So let's say I had the power from the panel going to the line side, okay? That would power the GFCI outlet. And then on the load side, I had some set, of, I had some wires that went to this outlet over here from the load side to this outlet. Then as long as everything was installed correctly and everything works properly, this outlet should be protected with the same, uh, with the same tripping powers as this one, as the GFCI right here. Like I said, as long as everything is installed properly and as long as everything is working properly, so you always have to keep that in mind. We don't live in a perfect world. So these are just ideal situations and the way that things should work, okay? So that's basically it. That is essentially the difference between a regular outlet and a GFCI outlet, otherwise known as a GFI outlet. I just wanted to go over the main similarities and the main differences. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.